Okay. All right, all right, all right. Here I am. Here I am in the mighty van. I have just gotten out of dialysis and I started making a video and the uh, video was not doing well because of a bad signal or something like that. So I've changed the situation. Here I am in the van. Hi. This is I Miss My People. Giovanni and Promise and Muriela, I miss you. And this is a special thing. Okay. Plenty of people in the world are worried about a whole bunch of stuff. And you guys, your mom is like one of the hardest working, inspiring, most efficient people that I've bumped into in a really long time. When she gets her heart set on something, she just takes care of business and she does stuff. And it's really cool. Now, I got to watch her feeling sad and frustrated because sometimes the children around her are not taking care of business and getting the job done, like cleaning out the cat boxes and doing the, the dishes and things like that. And it's really funny because God is training me to be a parent. We are a parent school. And you, Giovanni and Promise, both of you are better parents right now than I was when I was like 17 years old because you know so much cool stuff and you've had that like completely amazing God experience invasion which I didn't really have in my life I didn't have anybody around me in Christianity for 14 years that talked anything about miracle signs and wonders and my mommy got baptized in the Holy Spirit and she was talking in the surprise language and she was told not to tell anybody so the church people told my mommy not to tell me about one of the most important things in the whole human life. So that makes me all fired up to talk about the, you know, Jesus, God, church, and wisdom, and revelation stuff. All right, so your mommy is such a good worker and businesswoman. But now I'm being challenged to be a good dad and daddy, and I'm not really that good at it. Like, for example... If, if your mom, if Muriella was supposed to clean the cat boxes, um, I'd kind of stand around with my hands in my pockets and think like, well, I guess uh, I could, I guess I could, I could clean the cat boxes myself and I don't say anything. And if I saw that the dishes weren't getting washed, I'm like, well, I love washing the dishes anyway and I'd wash the dishes. But there's this one thing going on and I'm telling you, I was in the dialysis clinic and whenever I'm in the clinic, it's like, God sticks me in this chair and I try to do think about what my best homework is to do for like three and a half hours and I have a good time with it but I was coming out of the chair today and I said okay Lord what's the priority what's like the highest priority right now what thing didn't I get done in the dialysis chair that I need to do and he's like Giovanni and prompt and Muriela. And the reason why I put Giovanni first is the men are judged more harshly. And Giovanni, you are fixing to be raised up as one of the greatest men that all the people that you bump into have ever known. I'm telling you, nobody, nobody that I've ever known has been raised on the simple practice of the Didache from youth. And the Didache and the Sermon on the Mount Matthew 5, 6, and 7, and Luke chapter 7. These are the guts. This is like the stuff that the Son of God came and talked, taught all the dumb little human beings how to live and how to live their lives. So, the Didache is much more simple and orderly and easy to follow. The New Testament is just kind of like a whole bunch of stories and people talking about stuff and it's all kind of mucked up together. And as you're going through, you're like, oh, this is a really important priority because Jesus says, don't pray first. Take care of your problems with human people. And don't even pray to me. Take care of your human problems first and then you can come and pray to me. So there's all these little priorities hiding in the New Testament. And we're going to go on a study of those things at some point. But that's not the most important thing right now. Right now, it's me and you guys helping your mommy get parented. Now, she did such an amazing job on the catio. 
I am so impressed. I mean, I want to cry inside. I was like, man, that's my kid. That's, that's my chick, man. She's out there. She takes care of business. Is she a carpenter? Now she is. You know what I'm saying? And so I just want to say, because God said, look, here, here's the deal. Just as she is so excellent for the kitty cats, so also call her, challenge her to be so fine in her business for the children. And here's the quick throwdown. Okay. If there is a tiny little video series of Promise, who is such a great reader and such a great speller, if there is a tiny little video series of Promise reading from Like a Mighty Wind out loud, the honor around her is going to be changed. She's going to be lifted up as a spiritual voice among people, including grown-ups like me. I'm telling you, the way that she reads that book, you know it, Muriela. The way that she reads that book is so fine and so neat. Okay. So, Muriela, just like clean out the cat box. What you're capable of doing is making a tiny little studio environment and doing a serial recording of Promise, doing maybe one chapter at a time or a half a chapter at a time, half a chapter, half a chapter, and getting like three of them done like right away because this is so overdue. I mean, I might have died by now. <laughs> It's like, I'm standing around waiting for the dishes to get washed, and I keeled over and they buried me. Um, and then also, a cool little studio presentation of Giovanni reading the Didache chapter by chapter out loud. Putting them up on your YouTube channel. Your YouTube channel is already, it's already awesome. It's really, really great. And when you think about it, if Giovanni is surrounded by family who's loving on him and he's reading the Didache, it's totally okay for him to memorize stuff because we're supposed to actually memorize the Sermon on the Mount and the Didache and Luke chapter 7 and the whole book of Acts. We want to actually know exactly what's going on and we're so used to it. It's like all these little favorite stories just like when the crocodiles turn away in like a mighty wind. And this is us together. I have been sent to you to give you all of my best stuff. And the family work starts out with two books, actually kind of before the Bible. Because when we read what ordinary people have gone through, and then we read the book of Acts, it's like, whoa, that's exactly what happened to us. What happened to those people in the book of Acts? We had that happen to us. And, you know, and then Giovanni is reading together the instructions that a father and a good man, a good brother, should be speaking to his children. Respect the one that God has sent to you as if that person was Jesus himself. Because where the delegated authority speaks from heaven, there is the Lord Jesus. I mean, some of those things I never heard of before. I mean, the first times I was reading the Didache, it was like, beware of wrongfully assisting the rich. In other words, beware of giving birthday parties and a lot of nice stuff to the rich people around you. Rather, find the poorest of the poor or find the truth speaker who's trying to share things with people that is rejected by many people. You go befriend them and give them a cup of coffee and some cookies because they feel sad inside. They're just trying to speak about heaven and people reject them. So, these two things. Promise, like a mighty wind. Giovanni, the Didache. And as Giovanni reads, it's just totally fine for him to memorize, and it's also fine for the family to be around him while this production's going on, and have copies of the Didache in their face, and actually speak out loud, secondly, and whosoever, and all those things. And you know how cute it is when he backs up and he says the sentence again, and then if, as you can, like three chapters for him, he can say, Mommy, I want to do chapter two again. And you can say, not right now. The next time we start, we can do, redo chapter two, and we'll, I'll put that one up in replace of the other one. But we are going to get her done. Because 
people who come near us and near grandpa are actually going to learn from the voice of Giovanni. The most beautiful things that have ever been written for the family. They're going to hear from the voice of promise all these funny little stories that Mel Tari wrote like a little teenager kid. This is my challenge. Come on, you guys, Promise and Giovanni, help your mommy get her homework done. This is, right now, this is one of the greatest things that she could do for you. Greatest thing. Okay. Somebody wants to give me something. Praise God.